So, dear colleagues, we are glad to welcome you on our Next.js Web Updates public webinar. It's a place where we discuss the latest news and updates related to our headline product, Next.js Web, and we invite you to ask any questions you have here. So, um, I would like to start with a short introduction of our general work. Um, we develop a complete platform to support all basic workflows related to geospatial data for business, government, and individual level. And for us, the most organic way to introduce ourselves is to call our, our platform ready-to-go solution for maps and geospatial data. Um, our platform covers all basic workflows connected to special data from geodata collecting in the field and storing it to different kinds uh, to publishing. Uh, Next.js Web is our headline product, the core of the whole platform, and its main purposes are to integrate all geospatial data flows you have, including vector and raster data, tile sets, OGC connections, PostGIS databases, files and multimedia associated with locations, etc. Then to set up permissions, caching options, and other settings to this data, and then publish it via REST API, via standard protocols, as raster tiles, as vector tiles, as OGC services, or as uh, built-in interactive web maps. This platform is constantly developing and getting better and better. And recently we have released version 4.8, which brought a lot of new things. And today we are going to make a short overview of them and I hope discuss everything. Before we start, let me introduce our events. Um, we have two types of public online webinars. First one is dedicated to updates and chatting with developers. You are here now. This kind of events is mostly for users who are already familiar with the Next.js platform. And the second type of event is a regular demo with a general overview of main platform components and how they work together. Uh, keep in touch via our events page, um, nextjs.com events. Yeah, and the main options to contact us outside events. Uh, we have communities in Telegram and Discord, uh, chatting platforms. Of course, we have email and also we have chat integrated in our website, nextjs.com. So feel free to write to us anywhere you feel comfortable. Um, okay, that's it from my side. And now I'm glad to uh, give my word to Alexander Dejan. Uh, he is our chief technical officer and architect of Next.js Web. So Alexander, can you, can uh, you just, hello. Can you just screen? Hello. Can you can you hear me? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, so thank you. Uh, let me share my um screen uh can you see it yeah it's fine yeah okay uh so uh so let's start uh so first of all we have uh, the cloud version which is deployed on netjs.com and we have on-premise versions uh so you can uh deploy it on your servers. So we release uh, on-premise version each three months. And before uh, that, we uh, uh, test them on uh, nextjs.com. So on-premise versions are more stable. So uh, let me show what we did in the latest release. So first of all, it's about uh, web maps, so um, probably the most important part of our platform. Uh, so, uh, raster legends, let me show uh, how it works. I think it's the best uh, way to show them. Uh, so, uh, in uh, one of our previous releases, we added uh, legends from QGIS uh, in the Next.js web. So you can see it here. You can turn it off, turn it on. Uh, but previously, no, they uh, didn't work for rasters. So now everything is works. Uh, yeah, now everything works, and uh, 
uh, yeah, you can see uh, for uh, legends for raised values for uh, hill shade player. Uh, so that's uh, I think uh, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, the second thing is uh, mm, I might as well print layouts uh, with legend so uh, we can go to the printing tab. Uh, so it's, uh, for example, we can switch it uh, to landscape view and uh, we can turn on legends. Uh, we can uh, turn on titles. Uh, some additional elements like scale bar and then we can uh, adjust them as we want uh yeah uh, yeah now we see the legend so we can print it actually it causes uh, a pdf file download yeah so we can print it or share share any other way. So uh, the third thing uh, is inclusive layers group. So as they work in uh, QJS, uh, let me show uh, how it works. So here is our demo project in our sandbox. So, uh, no, sorry, I forgot to log in. Mm, yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, you can also log in there, try uh, some things. Uh, so let's reset to the initial state of the demo project. Yeah, it's uh, already so uh, we have two uh, raster layers with Sentinel images. And uh, if we go to web map editing, we can make a group of them, uh, put them into this group and make this group exclusive. So as it works in QJS, uh, yeah, here it is. Now we can, now we can switch. Uh, yeah, now we can switch. Wow, the first or the second layer. Yeah, so they can not be turned down together. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, okay. And the last one is about uh, measurement, special reference system for each web map. So uh, uh, we have, uh, measurement special reference system here so which is defined globally and uh, we can now we can uh, set special reference system for each web map so it affects only measurements and uh, sorry and how uh, coordinates are shown. So for example, this one, yeah. Yeah, uh, we can click somewhere. So now uh, coordinates are shown uh, in different special reference. Yeah, uh, so uh, the next one. Uh, so we made a lot of improvements in resource editing, which is, so resources are mm, 
the core of our web.js. So everything is resources like web maps, layers. Um, let me show. So the first option is uh, favorite resources. So let me show how it works. For example, we can um, put this page into our favorites. Yeah. Here it is. Uh, we can do it with other pages like, um, like for example, here. Uh, yeah. And then we can see them together. Uh, so like, uh, a quick way to uh, reach uh, resources uh, which you use frequently. Yeah. And moreover, we can add map fragments uh, to favorites. For example, let's zoom here and uh, uh, press this button. So it's added. Then we can scroll somewhere else and it do then we can go to favorites uh give them then give them names labels uh and yeah then we can follow these links and the map will be uh shown right where it was yeah. so uh what else uh so we have uh dated uh the most of resource editing tabs so for example um uh, here it is so fields editing Saving so, the, so we are <laughs> going to complete our transition to that framework and we're really happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, what's uh, so some other improvements? So, uh, the main thing, uh is future versioning so uh let me show how it works in action so i have to launch qjs and uh, And another field project, let me uh, set it. Uh, and um, let's turn on traditioning for uh, this layer. Yep, here it is. So it's an experimental feature, uh, yeah, but already works okay so uh let's pull, pull, pull. Uh, yeah uh, let's uh run another gis so to show how it works for mm, two users simultaneously uh yeah uh here is here is the project we can import it into QJS and uh, our Next.js panel plugin. Uh, yeah, and uh, so feature version helps to edit uh, one layer simultaneously from different. Mm, Users, yeah, uh, here it is. Let's try to edit this mm, layer. 
yeah and this so now we are using it from different uh users from different uh QJS instances let's add some points yeah this and here yeah uh yeah and let's save changes mm, yeah here and here so as you see uh everything is synchronized uh points uh, which we had on the left side uh, now we can see them uh oh not yet so we have to wait a little or uh yeah run synchronization manually yeah now we see them uh actually that's actually how it works uh it's uh as i said before it's an environmental feature but uh give it a try uh it helps a lot so now you don't need to replace layers entirely and so now uh let's see um what was added in NextJS web user interface. So now we can turn on what changed column uh so and see when uh features was added or edited or uh, yeah and if we do uh some changes here. We will also see uh, timestamps and the user who did uh, the change. Yeah. So, uh, what else? Um, so, we improved handling of complete geometries. Uh, you may see some problems if we uh import geometries from uh OSM info plugin so it could contain incomplete rings or uh, yeah or even maybe just empty so now these uh geometries are good correctly if they are loaded to Next.js web. Uh, so the third point, so we enabled nearest neighbor resampling for all raster permits. Uh, previously, you may uh, see some artifacts uh, for index rasters, uh, but now everything works and yeah. Mm. So that's all I think. That's all I wanted to share. Uh, maybe now uh, you have some questions. Uh, uh, we will be happy to answer them. Uh, yeah. Alexander, you mentioned uh, custom coordinate uh, reference system selection for measurements on the web maps uh yeah do we have some uh, preset list of such uh, coordinate reference systems or we can add some other one can you show us please uh yeah yeah we can uh, uh we can we can we can we can uh we can uh grade them from uh, receiving definitions, or we can import them from our uh, catalog. Uh, for example, well, yeah, where well, here it is. 
So potentially I can set up uh, some measurements on my web map based on my local coordinate reference system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, let me... Mm. Oh, show, yeah, here it is. Now we can see edit special reference system in the list. Uh, Your screen has disappeared. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so now everything should work. Uh, yeah, here it is, uh, yeah. And uh, well, let's add another one which works globally. Uh, for example, and let's turn it on for Yeah. Oh. Yeah, now we see tonight's game. Uh, so something wrong with my ah uh, stand let's here mm. you really add it from add it manually yeah No, oh, something went wrong. Okay, okay, we will check what's wrong with this. <laughs> okay, maybe other questions. If I may, a couple of questions regarding uh, versioning of uh, vector features. Okay. Um, is it compatible with uh, edits from, for example, WFS or OGC API features uh, services? So, for example, I have a couple of editors working with QJS, like you uh, have shown us, uh, but I also have some uh, external, I don't know, contractors who work through different uh, software, like uh, and whatever. So they use um, this WFS or GC API features to connect to the same layer and edit it. Um, so. Okay, um, okay, got it. So it should work. Let's try. Uh, let's try uh, read WFS servers. So uh, here it is. We can. Uh, remove this uh, layer so we see no synchronization icons. So let's see. Uh, yeah, it's WFS layer. Let's try to read it and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, and let's go to our another QGIS instance and 
Let's see how long it changes. So, as you see, it works uh, for WFS uh, service. I think it should work the same for GC features service. Uh, yeah, let's check. Oh, I'm editing the wrong player, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Thank you. Very nice. Um, and regarding um, like the raster styles, you also mentioned um, the first new feature. Um, does this, you know, classic one uh, render type from QGIS, uh, palette at unique values is supported? So I can see the names of uh, pixel classes on the maps. Mm. Yeah, it sh should work, uh, but uh, so... Uh, uh, let me sh find some example. Uh, so, um, no, I think I have the right example right now. Uh, yeah, but it should work. So yeah. all basic uh, render types are supported. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we can, uh, let's try, uh, oops, uh, wait a second, yeah, uh, maybe, let's uh, check, uh, so uh yeah multiple color yes it's support uh let it unique values, yeah. Uh, single band, uh, gray symbol, single band, uh, single band pseudo color. Uh, I think everything except hill shade and contours should work. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Anyone else uh, have questions or maybe notes or comments? Um, take your time. Um, I'm just wondering about this feature versioning. It's like, it sounds like uh, um, feature version control system built in in WebJS, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the do you first have... steps? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of plans on it, and uh, uh, we are 
going to implement layer cloning at specific version, uh, show our users uh, uh, the history of the specific feature, uh, show uh, changes. Uh, so, so I hope it will help us a lot to improve our platform because we have Next.js Mobile, we have Next.js uh, Collector. So all of them uh, should work better uh, with feature version. So Yeah, it's what I wanted to hear, that control uh, version systems are a very powerful thing to manage the data, to track all the history, yes, to make branches, etc. So uh, as far as I understood, you have plans to develop the system in such direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very promising. Thank you. Maybe any other questions? Okay, if you don't have any now, for now, uh, don't hesitate to reach uh, out to us any other moment we want. Um, we have a lot of places for communication. Yeah, so we are always happy to hear from you. I'm happy to have any feedback uh, and suggestions, etc. Yeah, so... Um, maybe, maybe I want to invite you somewhere. Give me one second to open. Um, my screen. Yeah, uh, it is our events, uh, web page. So, um, her <coughs> thing. I want to remind you is that such Next.js web updates event, uh, we plan to uh, hold it each uh, three months with uh, each Next.js web release. So uh, follow us on our networks and uh, take part in such events. And in September, uh, September 24th and September 26th, we plan to um to, to hold a Next.js demo, live demonstration of the whole platform capabilities, yes, in two time zones. So uh if you're interested, if you want to take a look at the whole picture, uh how Next.js web works with all other components we have, please uh come be our guests and we will be glad to show you everything. Yeah. Um we will add translations soon, so uh, you will have opportunity uh, not to register and join us in Zoom, but also just to watch these demos as YouTube translations. So you can choose the option uh, suits you more. Um, and uh, in any case, ask us uh, any questions, etc. So we yeah. We have some plans regarding this and record of this webinar will be available here on this events uh, web page. Yes, as long as the records of previous meetings. So that's it. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot for your attention. Any feedback is welcome. So let's keep in touch and goodbye. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye.